Hi everyone, it's Randall with Carter Hill Honeybees, and in today's video, it's time for another update on the package colonies. As you can see, I have them in one of my out yards, and these are all the single deeps that you see here, and then I put one out there to itself. So they're, they're doing very well. Uh, I moved them over here last night, and they're all pretty heavy. They feel like they're between 60 and 90 pounds each, so it's been 32 days so now i want to take this opportunity because now there's plenty of young bees that's come out and i want to do a mite wash and see where they're at just like i did with my nukes about a week ago and i'm prepared to apply treatment if needed and i'm going to use the same threshold i want to have no more than two mites in any of these colonies and of course that colony was already here i'm not going to treat it regardless because it's already been treated now they may look a little bit extra busy, but like this one right here, they're actually doing an orientation flight right now. It's about 4.30 in the afternoon. So that's just some young bees learning their territory. All right, let me get uh, set up and get started. And uh, I'm not gonna show any of the mite wash action. I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And then I'll give you the results, but I am going to pull some frames and look at the brew just to, to be sure. And I got one here that was lighter than the rest. I think it was that one there. And I may actually uh, take a frame from that one. That one over there is the strongest one. You can see it's bearding just a little bit. So I may actually swap a frame or two out of that one. I'll just have to see when I get in there. But that's also the heaviest one of the bunch too. Well, I've, I've brought some, the rest of my drawn out cones. I think I got 10 or 11 of them. And I'm gonna put all them on here and put a queen extruder on. And if I'm lucky, I'll get that one super full and possibly a foundation drawn out with these before the nectar flows over. So once again, this is day 32. Been about a week and a half since the three week check, which at that time there was already bees emerging. So I would imagine the population is starting to turn the other direction now is increasing pretty rapidly. And as you can see, there's bees up on the inner cover. So that would seem to support that as well. Yeah, this is pretty nice. Good amount of bees in here. This this colony is definitely ready for a honey super. So yeah, they're they're filling this outside frame with honey and nectar. I'd say it's about a fourth of the way full. Population is increasing nicely. So we got eggs and young larvae here on the next to the last frame to the outside. And the young larvae uh, had good nutrition, so that's exactly what I expect to see. So there's some young larvae and some young bees. I think there's enough bees, I can go ahead and get my sample off of here. All right, I've got my sample now, my 20 second shake. There was no mites. I'm going to put a medium, a queen excluder, and another medium. Both of these will be drone cone. That first colony's done. I got it supered up like I want. Uh, I may be able to get a foundation on top of that later. I don't know. I'll have to see how it goes, but we probably got realistically about four to five weeks in the nectar flow left. We'll see if they can capitalize on it. All right, here's the next one. They still have some pollen supplement patty on here. And now there is some small high beetle larvae. So this is probably the, the weakest colony of the bunch. So I'm gonna get rid of the supplement patty. As much pollen as there is now, they should be getting plenty of their own. Actually, the brood nest comes all the way out to here, so this pretty much equal to the other one. Well, this phrase got pollen and young larvae on here, so I'm gonna get my sample off of this one. And after 20 seconds of swirl, that one has nothing in it either. Right now I'm going to hold off putting the super on here till I get through. I may wind up taking a couple frames of brood out of another and putting on this one. They still got just a little bit of their pollen sub left. And there we got some brood right there. It's amazing how consistent these colonies are with their brood nest. Oh, there's an amazing sheet of brood right there. That's very clean, almost no skips. That's, that's spectacular. 
I think I might as well take this other one and get my sample out of it. So this colony definitely needs supers. In about 10 to 14 days, there's really going to be an explosion in this colony. And it might help if I put my supers on before I put the inner cover back on because as you see, I'm having to take it right back off. All right, here's one of the first two colonies I've done. Uh, this water's been sitting over about 10 minutes after I did my slosh. There's zero mites in it. And the second colony, same result, no mites, as you can see. So, so far, uh, very, very good results. And the 20 second wash on this one was zero as well. So this is my first experience with washing uh, package colonies in the same year. So I don't know if that's normal or not, but right now the indications are that my treatment strategy of this beekeeper is very good. Pretty much wall to wall bees in here. Clearly all these hives are gaining population from a week and a half ago. We've actually got eggs on this outside frame. So that's very good. Good deal of cat brood here. Very nice. Almost no skips, that's very clean. A little bit there, but that's where the bees are merging and they're filling the nectar. Yeah, I'm catching this just about right. This, they're about to get this colony plugged out. All right, got young larvae, I think. There's definitely pollen in here. Yeah, there's plenty of young larvae, so there's my nurse bees I need. All right, the 22nd shake on this colony is zero mites. Alright, that's the fourth one. We got one to go, the strongest one. And just like the nukes, uh, the strongest one has the highest odds of being having the most mites. So let's get over and see if we're going to have any. Alright, here's the last one and the strongest one. The one we just done, the 22nd mite swirl, shows zero mites. This may just have the most honey. I was expecting to really see a lot more bees. Yeah, they're making honey. That was full of honey right there. So I think, I think seeing this right here, I'm not going to, I don't believe I'll pull any brood from these. I'm just going to let them do what they're going to do and I'll soup them accordingly to maximize the honey. Beautiful sheet of brood. Look at the drones that they're fixing to produce. Wow. And lots of eggs in there. Queen could be on this frame. There's some young larvae and pollen definitely getting good nutrition i'm gonna look carefully for the queen i don't see her i'm gonna go ahead and get my sample from this one but i will definitely look a little bit closer to make sure she's not on here because there's eggs here on this frame the the odds of her being on that frame are higher when there's eggs in my experience yeah, I think we're good to go get my sample. And the 20 second shake reveals zero on this one as well. So we'll put all this together, get loaded up, and I'll do like the five to 10 minute check and I'll report from there. Be it this is the strongest one, I'm gonna go ahead and put three mediums on here, two above the exclusion. All right, this has been sitting over here about, about 10 minutes. This is the third one. I inspected no mites on it. So here's the fourth one I washed. It's been over here about 
eight or ten minutes after the swirl, no mites on it as well. And the last one I washed, been over here about five minutes, and there's no mites in it either. All right, we've completed this task. We've got all five of these package colonies that I installed 32 days ago, moved out, supered up, and I've checked them for mites. They all had a zero, so I'd like to give another shout out to Andrew Finch of Boonville, Mississippi on doing a great job in his mite treatment strategy. And I feel like that's one of the reasons we saw such great frames of brood in their cat with almost no skips. The, most of the skips we did see was where the bees emerged and they're, they're running out of room and they're filling with nectar. But great queens, great bees right there. This, this experience, this has been the best experience I've had with packaged bees out of probably about the 40 or 50 I bought in my career. So I'm very happy with these. And, uh, and I know I started them out with drone comb, but I think with uh, foundation, they would have done very well. They just wouldn't be this far along, but I'm very well satisfied with these. And uh, I, this has pretty much restored my faith. If you get packaged bees that are done correctly, uh, they can start you off on a good on a good foot. So I got these supered up, ready to go. I had an extra drawn out. I put on the strongest one down there, and I'll probably come in a few days and put some foundation on these. I'm, I'm that's the last of my uh, drawn out cones, so I got to get foundations drawn now. But once again, I want to stress how important it is wherever you get your bees from. You know, do it, do a mite wash, and see where you're at. I can't stress how important that that is to know that information. Because now you can do something about it, it's more difficult towards the end of the season to try to salvage your colony. But if you get ahead of the game now, you'll have a lot better success. And I've learned, I've learned that the hard way, and I'm trying to share this to others to help them not go through the experiences I, I have. It's expensive and frustrating. And with packaged bees, you'll probably want to wait and let the brood cycle through about at least three to four weeks, let some brood be emerging, and then you can take your sample and not really hurt the colony in any way so that's the reason I waited 32 days and then the nukes was already established from last summer so I just waited four days and got a sample from them and I'm not trying to compare these in any way since I had some losses last year I just decided to go ahead and purchase some of each just to help some local beekeepers in, in my area and also this gave me an opportunity to make some videos on each one and I'm not trying to I'm not really trying to upgrade or downplay either one they're, they're all good ways to start bees as with any form of beekeeping pretty much it's going to be important that you keep your mite numbers under control well i hope you found something beneficial in this demonstration today i want to thank you for joining me for this video never stop learning and we'll catch you on the next one